I'm Dr. Ivan. I'm the medical director here in R3 Clinic in Tijuana. I'm also part of the Mexican Council of Stem Cell Therapy. I always tell them that it's very important to, to let us know if there's any allergies to any type of thing before the procedure because we always start with the Myers cocktail, okay? What is Myers cocktail? It's saline solution with vitamin B, vitamin C, sulfate, um, all of the main components that we normally have. Um, some of us take supplements, but we can know that uh, we know that we can absorb more when we apply it IV. So we give all of the materials for the stem cells to work. If there's any hypersensitivity or any allergy to any type of vitamins, we need to know that, right? Because we can have a, an adverse effect or a, an allergic reaction to it. Okay. After applying the stem cells, we have not had any complications uh, from the stem cells because normally they're uh, very not immunoactivated, right? So they will form an antigen antibody response. So all of the patients normally sometimes can express uh, a different taste in the mouth, which is common. Uh, a rise in temperature that it lasts about 60 seconds and then it goes away. And the adverse effects that can happen uh, will happen maybe if, if there's localized pain after the application, if we're talking about a joint application because there is a needle going in and that will create an inflammatory response, right? Or if there's an epidural application that can also create an inflammatory response and the exosomes can also act there, right? That is why we have to be very careful when doing other types of procedures. But for all IV therapies, we have none, have uh, any complications.